We here at Leland High School, homecoming 2019. We on the mission to find the doll. Has anybody seen the doll? What's going on, coach? Has anybody seen the doll? The doll, the homecoming queen. Where is the doll? All right, y'all. We on the we on the mission to find the doll. We gotta find the doll. Hey, we lit, man. We lit. Homecoming, Leela High School, 20, 2020. You know what I'm saying? We gonna graduate. I get fired, man. Singers for life. You know what it is with me. Hey, man. The mic right here, man. Hey, what? The mic right here, man. The mic right here. Let me say it one more time. 2020. We got this thing, man. Y'all, we got this thing. Yes, sir. Who we got? 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 Who we then Coach Sanders right here, he famous. I don't know why he talking about, oh, man, who is he, man? Then Coach Sanders, man, Coach Eugene Sanders, one of the, one of the, the, the world-renowned coaches in the Mississippi Delta, you know, known everywhere, known everywhere, you know. He, he's the bus driver, he's the driver's head coach. I mean, he's the driver's head teacher, he's the, the football coach, the track coach, the baseball coach, the, the home economics coach, any coach you want to bring up, this coach Eugene Sanders, y'all, right here. This Miss Sane right here. What's going on, Coach? Y'all all right? All right. All right, right here. Right here, we got Miss Senior. Oh, she's shy. She's shy. What's your name, baby? Shamaya. I don't know what to say. It's the interview. <laughs> How you feel about being the same? What college you going to? <laughs> Mississippi University of Women. Go to Mississippi State. They go to Mississippi State. Go to Mississippi State. They got to go to Mr. Miller Room. They got a pod. Y'all like Mr. Miller Room? Y'all heard Coach, man. We still here. Leland High Homecoming 2019. We used to walk these halls and, 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 and wreak havoc on these halls, man. You know, third hall, this was our favorite hall, you know, because we had Miss Mack, we had Mr. King, we had Miss Bill, and I think Mr. Davis was all on this one hall. What do do? Right now, we're going to Miss Barsdale class. She ain't here teaching on homecoming. I don't know what they do that at. Is Miss Barksdale class? Yes. Hey, Hello, how are you? I teach AP Environmental Science, Anatomy, Physiology, and Physical Science. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a whole lot of science. So, so it's safe to say we got a scientist in the building. So you believe in the theory of evolution? I sure do. There you go, folks. She with me. I'm with her. We love everybody. We are leaving, man. Homecoming 2019. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, y'all pretty ladies doing? All right. What y'all um, y'all think about this school right now in the, in the conditions that it's in? I think they need to get some money to fix it, get us some air, the air, because so I think it real hot outside all the time. All right, and what about wintertime? Do it be like no, really? It be cold. It be cold. We have water there. Then they cut them out. Is it the baby? Right. So how do how do you feel about the bun issue? I think it should be paid because we need it. We need it. We need it. And they need to think about everybody yeah. in the situation. And a lot of people that live around in the kids don't go to the school, so it's not like they really know. And they not trying to know, even like if you tell them, they still won't understand. Yeah. But we understand because the school, just look at it. It's yeah. old, outdated. All right, so do y'all feel that the, the people were misinformed about the bond issue? Yes, yes. because we had, we had a rally for it. Over by the church, and the only people that showed up was people from the school, so they were telling me why we need it, we don't do it. But no one showed up. But when it was time to vote, more people showed up there than was. My name is Patanzi Miller Hampton. I serve as an algebra teacher, as well as girls basketball coach and athletic director here at Leland High School. First and foremost, I'm a 1983 Leland High School graduate proud Leland High School graduate. And 
coming back as a teacher and a person who works with the school after having attended the school is a tremendous honor for me. Now, I reflect often about how this school was and how it was operated and the condition of the school when I was a student. And I would like to have that for the students who attend here now. To me, it's uh, imperative that we provide them not only with a quality education, but with quality facilities as well. These are great kids and uh, I think they deserve the best that Leland has to offer. And I just don't believe the way we have Leland High School in the condition it is now is the best. The bond issue, I thought, was a tremendous idea. It was a chance for us as Lelanders to give our kids something and let them know that we value them tremendously. But because of the fact that we had some people who refused to vote, some people who voted no, I thought that was like a slap in the face to the kids here who represent Leland athletically, academically, in every aspect they can. So to have to come back to work and tell these kids the disappointing news that the bond was basically turned down because of some really misinformation and people who just didn't take the time to find out exactly what's going on here and why we felt we needed the bond in order to repair the school. Really hurt my feelings to have to tell that to these kids. I'm concerned about the future of Leland High School. I'm concerned about the future of Leland. If we don't do something now, when? If we don't change the condition now, I'm thinking in the next 15, 20 years, there might not be a Leland High School. I would like to leave here as a teacher, retired, knowing that the school is in a great position to provide a quality education to the future generations of Lelanders. This is my biggest concern and this is why I'm so passionate and feel a sense of urgency when it comes down to getting this bond passed. We urge you to participate, we urge you to support us as we fight not only for the kids who attend now but for the future generations of Leland. Thank you. That man dug wheat. <laughs> Never get up out that mug, boy. Woo wee! This is the girls' um, gym bathroom. It's in a little bit better condition as the boys, but nonetheless, it needs work. I'm Sean McDonough. I'm a U.S. history teacher here at Leland High School. Um, I believe it's it's imperative that we pass this bond. Um, in a lot of classrooms across the school, the air conditioning is not working properly, which makes it really difficult for the students to learn. Um, Leland Progress actually just um, posted an article saying how the boiler failed inspection recently, so that's a huge problem as well, uh, now that we're starting to approach fall and winter. Um, the kids here are amazing. I love teaching here. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great couple years and I, I would love to continue to teach here. Um, and the students here really deserve um, the best facilities possible. Um, <clears throat> the school is currently a C, so it is a successful school and I know that we can do even better than that. So the students deserve it and we need to go out and vote for this bond and get it passed so we can have a great school. This is Leland High School cafeteria. I mean, it's in one of the better conditions of the school, but as you can see, it need work as well. Oh. 
This is the men's um, cafeteria bathroom. And this is the women's. This is outside of the uh, the high school cafeteria. As you can see, they tried to repair some right here, but what about the other side? This is outside the maintenance shop. and I'm an English teacher at Leland High School. I teach 11th and 12th grade. I believe that the bond is imperative to pass. I think it's morally negligent that we are having children come to the school right now. My school is boiling hot, my room is freezing cold, we don't have clean water, it's unsafe, children have touched live wires, children have fallen into holes. I think that if we don't pass this bond, we should not even be opening school. Right now our boiler isn't passing code, meaning we won't be able to heat the school tonight. I think every single person, if they care about where they live, needs to vote yes for the bond. I also think that we can't look our children in the eye if we don't vote yes for the bond because it's their future we're destroying. Children can't learn in a too hot room and they can't learn in a too cold room. So if we even care about our children learning, going to college, going to trade school, we have to fix this school. I'm Mary Brian Barksdale. I am a high school science teacher at Leland High School. I teach advanced placement, environmental science, human anatomy, physiology, and physical science. I am a big supporter of the bond issue. Um, I was extremely disappointed when it did not pass because we had put a lot of work into um, trying to rally the community behind this bond issue and behind the vote. And especially losing by 13 votes was a pretty devastating blow. I'm hopeful though because we are going to put it back on the ballot. I hope for a December election and I think this gives us the opportunity to make sure our voters are more informed than they were. I'm also hoping to get more um, community support around the bond. I know it was a slightly divisive because of all the misinformation that was going around. And um, I also know that our December bond issue is going to be asking the Leland community members for less money. So our first bond issue was set at a price of $8.75 million and now it's going to drop to around $6.9 million um, as of the, lot, the last community um, board meeting. So I think, especially as an insider, because I teach here, I know how desperately we need this money. This school has not been renovated for several decades, and money that we should be putting towards um, more resources, more technology resources for our students, um, better teaching materials, updates to our science labs, et cetera, is having to go towards general facility repairs, because we don't have the money for that. Um, and our building is falling apart. I have. Just from a personal perspective, I have two holes in my wall. I have wiring that's hanging down from my ceiling. Um, last year and the year before that, I dealt with leaking roof into my build, into my room. Um, my air conditioner, thank goodness, works this year, but last year it was not working towards the end of the year, and my heating is off and on. Sometimes the boiler brings me hot air and I have to open the window, it's too hot to learn in the in the classroom and then for a substantial amount of time I don't have enough heat in my, 
in my classroom, making it very difficult for my students. One more thing I want to add. Leland High School has increased its performance, has improved its performance over the past three years. Three years ago, we were an F. Last year, we were a D. This year, ratings just came out, we were a C. We're doing the work here. Our students are doing the work. We are trying hard, but without um, healthy building to learn in, our students' proficiency rates are lower than what they should be. So we need this money. It is going to it is going to be used in a productive way because we are trying to now go from a C to a B. You're not putting money into a failing school. We are not failing. We are doing our work. Students are doing their work and we're getting the results we need and we need the community members to help support us in that endeavor. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mira Brown and I am a junior mate on the homecoming court. I feel as if the bond issue is very important because the school hasn't been upgraded since before I was born and since then it has fallen into a state of disrepair. So I feel like we need a lot of repairs for the school. We need air conditioning, heating systems, everything, you name it. I feel like the issue has been a very complicated one and I know that the money, the amount of money that we're asking for is a lot, but if you come and see the school you will see how much we really need it. All the books that we have are outdated. We have desks that have graffiti on them. Most of everything in here is just old. We have windows that won't even close, windows that won't even open. I mean, everything in the school really just needs to be fixed. And before long, if we don't get this fixed, the school will probably be shut down. So next time you go vote, please just vote yes. Jenny, you there? What this boat, the, there was the shower one. My name is Johnny Vick and I'm the principal of Leland High School and I want to add that I'm proud to be the principal of Leland High School. Our school and many, many buildings in our district are in desperate need of upgrades uh, all throughout the district and we're trying our best to push with all our heart this bond through so it will help our students and future generations to come. If you, come, if you came to visit the high school, you'll find that we have a very energetic group of students that are, that are ready to learn. But at the same time, it is, it is often too hot during the summertime and too cold during the wintertime. We need this bond to, to go through, to pass, to support our students and future generations.